In this lesson, I'll show you two examples on how to calculate pediatric doses using Fry's rule. The first question reads, an infant 10 months old and weighing 18 pounds needs streptomycin sulfate, which is usually administered to adults as one gram or 1000 milligrams as a daily intramuscular injection. What is the appropriate dosage for the infant? Now, in one of our previous videos, I introduced to you Young's rule. And that's how you calculate dosages for children older than one year of age. This method is used for children, specifically infants, who are younger than one year of age. The rule is based on both the child's age as well as the average adult dose for a 150 pound adult. So with that being said, let's take a look at the formula. The child's dose is equal to the age in months, which in our case is 10 months, divided by 150 times the adult dose. So let's go ahead and do that. We have the child's dose is equal to the age, 10 divided by 150, multiply two, an adult dose of 1,000 milligrams. Let's go ahead and use our calculator. We have 10 divided by 150 times 1,000 milligrams gives us, in decimal form, 66 decimal six repeating milligram dose for a child. So I'll round this to one decimal place. I should end up with 66 decimal seven milligram dose for a child who's 10 months old weighing 18 pounds. Let's try another example. This time a child 12 months old needs erythromycin and the normal adult dose is 250 milligrams QID, which represents four times a day. What is the appropriate dosage for the child? Now, of course, it's always important to be mindful that you'll be given information in questions that are not necessary for the calculation. So it's up to you to be able to work through these numbers and make sure you know what's important and what's not. What we have to do here is find the appropriate dosage for this child. Once again, we'll use the formula 12 divided by 150. And keep in mind, if this child were 13 months, you would then use Young's formula as opposed to this one. And we multiply this by the adult dose of 250 milligrams. Let's use our calculator. 12 divided by 150, multiply two, 250 gives us 20. So this child needs a dosage of 20 milligrams per every one dose. And there you have it. Two examples on how to calculate pediatric doses using Fried's rule.